disputes, okay, the uh, extreme cases to go to court, if you go to court by the time any uh, thing is resolved, you know how many years it takes, right? It takes about 15, 20 years. By the time the dispute is resolved, either one of the parties is dead or both the parties are dead. You have to go through, you have various courts, you have the first court, then you have the appellate court, then you have the high court, supreme court. By the time it goes through all this, everyone, the only person who are happy and making money are the lawyers, right? And both the other parties are the same. In other ways, in the contract, we have other methods to dispute, but what we are saying is a project has to be properly administered that we minimize this dispute. And today, if you see the figures, the amount of money that is locked in arbitration on various projects that the government of India has executed, it runs into tens of thousands of crores, tens of thousands of crores, just money locked up and wasted. Okay. Now, when you, if you, if you later on study construction uh, management as an academic uh, discipline, these are some of the topics you will be, you will be studying under that uh, uh, subject. One is planning and control, uh, where you are mainly talking about time, cost and resources. Okay. Actually, should we include resources also there? Your, how to sequence your activities, uh, how do you estimate durations of activities and then I already talked to you about planning, execution and control. So, these steps you go through in this particular, the number of tools and techniques available. We have network diagrams, we have bar charts, plus simulation, various tools and we have active research program here, here in our uh, group itself, which is working on these tools and techniques. Then you have construction contracts. Now, all projects are executed through contracts. Now, contracts are agreements between uh, parties, between the owner and the architect engineer, between the owner and the contractor, between the contractor and the subcontractor, between the contractor and the insurance agency. You have bonds that we, we have, we have bid bonds, we have performance bonds. All these are various contracts that you enter into. Uh, so, what are these various kinds of contracts? Then th there are different financial arrangements that we have. We have item rate contracts, you have lump sum contracts, you have uh, turnkey contracts, you have uh, EPC contracts, engineering procurement construction contracts. Different uh, methodologies are available on how you execute a project. You have cost plus contracts and so on. So, in that in that, under that uh, subject, you, you talk about all these various issues, legal environment in which it operates. In the, in the, there is an Indian Contract Act, there is an Arbitration Act. So, all this legal environment within which you operate. Then you have personal management. As I already discussed with you, construction involves a lot of people, people with different uh, skill sets starting from the unskilled laborers to the engineers. You need to manage all this process. Okay? You need to get the best productivity out of the process. Then you have uh, quality management, how do I achieve my quality objectives? Again, there are a number of tools and techniques associated with uh, setting up a quality uh, assurance and a quality control uh, system. Uh, there are statistical tools available, there are uh, organizational tools available. Safety management becoming very important as I told you. Uh, today, any big contract should, so the various techniques on how do I ensure that uh, I put a safety uh, system in place. Materials management, most construction is basically if you see uh, in terms of uh, implementation is materials. If I am making concrete, I am bringing aggregate from one place, I am bringing uh, uh, sand from another place, coarse aggregate, uh, sand, cement, water, chemical admixtures and then I need to mix it, I need to transport it, I need to place it, I need to finish it, I need to cure it. right? Now, if you see all this, it is a lot of material handling material procurement, material handling process. If you are talking about structural steel, I need to cut this, uh, procure the steel, I need to cut it to the right sizes, I need to work it, I need to fix them, either using uh, welding, bolting, all this is lot of it is uh, materials management and uh, material handling. right? Then productivity improvement. Uh, construction, as I told you, you make assumptions with respect to productivity. If you look at productivity, if you look at the, some of the statistics with respect to labor productivity in India, they say our labor productivity is, uh, uh, is around uh, or if you put it, flip it the other way, in Japan or uh, US, if you see the productivity there, labor productivity is anywhere from 3 to 7 times depending on the kind of activity what we get in India. Many reasons for that. Then financial management, you need to manage money on a project, there is a working capital you need to manage. Finally, at the end of the day, a contractor has to make money. unless. 
unless there is a profit organization does not survive. So, profit is not a bad word right without profit the entity does not move forward. Only thing is it should uh, the owner also has to does not want to be taken for a ride. So, there should be a reasonable profit involved not an excessive thing and there are many tools and techniques today available for managing this whole all these processes computer tools we have programs that we have for planning scheduling we have pro pro programs like Microsoft project Primavera that are commonly used for planning and scheduling plus whole bunch of other uh, tools available for uh, your design your analysis your analysis design and then for construction. So, these are some of the topics that you cover study if you are going to specialize in construction project management. Some of the tools that I talked about for example, this is a bar chart which gives a representation of when a given activity starts when it finishes okay. So, someone so you if you go to a construction project site you will have this chart put up there where it is a simple tool where anyone can understand. For example, you are saying site grading contractor will work during this period from January uh, 15 to about uh, January 22nd. This will be followed by the uh, site grading contractor right. Uh, uh, of course, both of them are same uh, and then you have the plumbing contractor and so on. So, who comes when who goes out this is a simple representation, but before coming to that I will come up with a, I use a network diagram which activities follows which activity the relationship between them and so on right. So, the various tools are taken these are the basic tools, but we have many more advanced tools to do this. Okay, what is this project? What is the structure? Sorry, Sydney Oprah House, right? Anyone thinking looks at Australia, a picture of Australia, you think of Australia, you think of Sydney Oprah House or the kangaroo, right? That is how you relate to Australia. Now, this is so this has become an icon or this has become a landmark of Australia, but if you look at this <laughs> structure as a construction project, it is a major disaster, it is a major failure. The construction was supposed to be 2 years, it took uh, nearly 15 years to complete. The initial budget was 5 million dollars, it ended up costing 120 million dollars okay. Uh, there are many reasons why uh, this thing. So, what I am saying is it could be a construction project management disaster, but finally the end product turned out to be a pretty good project, but in the meantime it, uh, as a project management uh, project it was a big disaster. Okay, and there are huge losses if you look at uh, some of the studies uh, for example, the government has this agency which uh, tracks big infrastructure projects in the country and they have been tracking 515 projects that are an implementation involving uh, 3 lakh 90 thousand crores money that has been invested and uh, if you see out of this 224 projects are behind schedule out of the 515. Okay, uh, and uh, only 14 projects are on schedule out of this 515 projects. So, projects running over time, over cost is so common, and there is a lot of money that is wasted uh, in the process. Huge drain on the country's uh, minimal resources that we have, meager resources that we have. So, there is a big challenge out there to get projects done properly and uh, in terms of meeting the project management objectives. Safety hardly given attention only in the last 10 years we are seeing construction companies in India giving uh, attention to safety before that no one even gave attention to safety. For example, this tragedy at uh, Terry uh, Dam uh, tunnel 30 workers died this was uh, just a couple of years back. Again, there it was a construction aspect because many of you are from Hyderabad. I thought I'll show you this uh, picture from the flyover uh, that crashed a uh, few uh, couple of years back, uh, last year, in fact. Sorry, uh, you know, uh, by chance uh, the vehicles going uh, getting affected. So.